Hello all, welcome to the SOLIDWORKS tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to draw the universal coupling assembly. First, we will draw the parts separately, then we will assemble it. I am going to start with the fork. Open SOLIDWORKS, click new and create a new part. Select the front plane, click sketch. I am going to draw a center rectangle from the origin. To mark the dimensions, go to Smart Dimension and the width of the rectangle is 90 mm and the overall height is 170 mm. It is 110 plus 30 plus 30. Click OK. Then go to Futures. Click Extrude Boss and the extruded thickness is 30 mm. Click OK. Then select this plane, click sketch. I am going to draw two circles. The first circle diameter is 90 mm and the second circle diameter is 50 mm. Click OK. Go to Futures, click Extruded Bars and the length for extrude is 56 mm. Click OK. To draw this section, first I am going to draw a circle here. Then from the circle I am going to draw a tangent and I am going to connect this with the rectangle. So select this surface, click sketch, draw a circle and its radius is given the radius is 38 mm, so the diameter is 38 into 2. And the circle is located at a distance of 130 mm from the opposite end. So click Control, select the center point of the circle and the origin and click Vertical. Now select Line, start a line and connect it with the circle. Similarly, click line from this corner, draw a line to the circle. Now select this line, click control, select the circle and select tangent. Similarly here also. Now draw an another line. Next I am going to draw an inner circle and the inner circle diameter is given as 30 mm. Next I am going to trim the unwanted surfaces, go to trim entities, select this region, then click OK. Now go to features, click extruded box and change the direction and the extrude height is 30 mm that is given in the drawing. Click OK. Next I am going to mirror this section, so go to mirror. Then first step is selecting the mirror face or mirror plane. So here I am going to select the top plane and features to mirror, I am going to select the boss extrude. Click OK. So now we have created the fork. Save it. So save it in a separate folder. The name is fork. Now close this one. Create a new part. Next I am going to draw the center block. Select the front plane, click sketch, draw a circle of diameter 55 mm. Click OK, go to extrude boss and the extruder height is 55 plus 55 that is 110 mm. Next I am going to draw a perpendicular shaft for this. So I am going to select the top plane that is the perpendicular plane and click sketch. Then draw a circle in the perpendicular direction. So the diameter of the circle is same that is 55 mm. And the distance between these two centers 
is given as 38 mm and the vertical distance is 55 mm click ok go to features click extruded bars and the extrude height is 110 mm so here one thing you should note we have to extrude from the mid plane so change the option to mid plane and click ok now I am going to put two holes here so select the surface click sketch draw a circle of diameter 30 mm then go to features click extruded cut up to surface and select the surface then click ok similarly select the sketch click sketch draw a circle and mark the diameter the diameter is 30 mm so here the circle is not constrained because the center of the circle is not specified so click control select the circle and select the outer circle and select concentric now it is fully defined you can see the black lines go to future click extruded cut and up to surface select the surface then click ok now save this the name is center block then close this next I am going to draw the pin select top plane click sketch draw a circle of diameter 50 mm and extrude this to a height of 10 mm so this is the head for the pin then select this surface click sketch and draw another circle from the origin for a diameter of 30 mm now we extrude this to a height of 185 mm so put to, to put a hole at the top I am going to select the perpendicular plane click sketch draw a circle of diameter 5 mm at a distance of 10 mm from the top surface now this is not fully defined so click control select the center of the circle then select the bottom edge click vertical now you can see that it is fully defined go to features click extruded cut and change it to mid plane then click ok now save this then we will draw the collar so create a new part select the top plane and draw two circles the outer circle diameter is 50 mm and the inner diameter is 30 mm click ok go to future extrude this to height of 10 mm now to draw a hole select any one of the perpendicular plane either you can select right plane or you can select the front plane so click sketch select circle and draw a circle of diameter 5 mm the circle is located at the center so from the top the distance is 5 mm now click control select the center of the circle and origin and click vertical now go to features click extruded cut changes to mid plane and you can click and drag the length now save this then create another new part 
select the front plane click circle and draw a circle of diameter 6 mm before extruding this to a distance of 60 mm the diameter in the tapper pin in one side is given as 6 mm and in the other side it is given as 5 mm so we have to calculate the tapper angle so the tapper is 0.5 mm because the 1 mm increase in diameter is split into two 0.5 mm in the top and 0.5 mm in the bottom now i am going to draw a straight line so here i know the opposite side and the adjacent side length that is 60 mm so i can calculate the angle that is data so tan inverse of opposite side by hypotenuse will give me this angle that is tan inverse of 0.5 divided by 60 that is equal to 0. 4777 now go to solid works go to features extrude boss extrude this to a distance of 60 mm and click the draft and type the angle as 0. 0.4777 then click ok now if you want you can verify this go to evaluate click measure and you can verify that the diameter in this edge is 5 mm now save this now we have created all the parts separately now we can assemble it go to new click assembly then first import the fork click open and click ok then select insert components and import the color and import the center block rotate this now go to mate select the inner surface and it is concentric mate then select these two surfaces and click coincident mate then insert component insert the fork again rotate it in the correct orientation then go to mate sorry and select these two regions then click ok now go to insert components and insert the pin so if you want to duplicate this then click control select the left click and you can duplicate this then go to mate click ok then to move this you can click the pin and you can move it then select mate and select these two regions then click ok similarly mate the next pin so click the pin and you can move it then go to mate select these two regions then click ok now go to insert component and insert the color so click control click and drag the color to duplicate this go to mate and click ok then click mate and select these two holes then click ok similarly select the inner surface of the collar 
and the outer surface of the pin then select these two holes then click OK now we have assembled all the parts so this is the final assembly of the universal coupling you can move this Thank you.